Look, uh, folks, we, uh, we've got a lot to do. And the most immediate thing we can do is ensure the continued reliance of our economy and the financial system. The most important thing we have to do in that regard is to make sure the threat by the Speaker of the House to default on the national debt is off the table. For over 200 years, America has never, ever, ever failed to pay its debt. To put in the capital and colloquial terms, America is not a deadbeat nation. We have never, ever failed to meet the debt. Now, as a result, we're one of the most respected nations of the world. We pay our bills, and we should do so without reckless hostage taking from some of the mega Republicans in Congress. And, uh, and folks, uh, now for the reason we're here. We're all here today because I want to thank Jill and all of you. And Jill was last year's winner, as you all know, for her introduction and for the hope your business gives so many families that are so badly needed. They really do. My daughter is a social worker working with abused women in Philadelphia, and uh, it's her passion. But there's so much we can do if we just have the wherewithal to reach out. You know, thanks to Administrator Guzman for leading this historic effort to support small businesses all across America. And I want to thank Vice President Harris, who's doing such an ex expanded entrepreneurship underserved communities throughout America, talking about what impact it has on those underserved communities. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday to all of you. So I have huge news for all Americans. GOP lawmakers have just laid out a brand new plan. This plan would accomplish several things, including save taxpayers money, but it could also cause millions of Americans to be left without health insurance. Democrats are planning to put forward their own version of this bill. So friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of the details. Also, this coming Friday, I will be announcing more winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances, friends, of winning the giveaways. More than half a million of the poorest Americans may be left without health insurance under legislation that's passed by House Republicans. It would require individuals to work in exchange for health care coverage through Medicaid. It is one of dozens of provisions tucked into a GOP bill that would allow for an increase in the debt limit, but curb government spending over the next decade. According to ABC News, the bill is unlikely to become law, though it is being used by House Republicans to draw Democrats to the negotiating table and avoid a debt default. Democrats have strongly opposed the Medicaid work requirement provision, saying it won't incentivize people to receive a job and will drive up the number of uninsured in the country. The work requirements say able-bodied adults ages 19 to 55 who do not have children or other dependents, will be required to work, train for a job, or perform community service to stay on Medicaid. About 84 million Americans are enrolled in Medicaid, and the Congressional Budget Office says that 15 million would be subject to the requirement. The Health and Human Services Department predicts that millions more, about a third of enrollees, would be required to work. Republicans say the move would help push Americans into jobs that eventually might put them in a position to move off of government aid. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise said that the requirements would also be more equitable for those who are working to support their families. Democrats argue that work requirements could unfairly push people out of Medicaid. According to state officials, some people were kicked off of Medicaid when the state briefly introduced work requirements. And in some cases, people were not required to work, but didn't fill out the required paperwork. About one in four people who were required to work lost coverage during Arkansas's experience with work requirements in 2018. 
Work requirements can put Medicaid enrollees in a bind. While no one has been kicked off Medicaid over the last three years because of the crisis, that changed in April when the federal government required states to review income eligibility for all enrollees to see who now makes too much money to qualify for the health care benefits. People who picked up work, earned a small raise, or switched jobs are finding that those new incomes could soon cost them coverage. One of the biggest questions is, how much would the Republican proposal save? That largely depends on how many people who would be required to work opt not to or don't fill out the proper paperwork to remain covered. The Congressional Budget Office says the requirements would save $109 billion over the next decade. Those savings would come in two ways, from about 600,000 people who would be dropped from Medicaid, then another 900,000 who would lose federal funding for their Medicaid, but still remain enrolled in the program through their state. That analysis also says the bill would do little to improve employment among Medicaid enrollees. The House GOP bill will not pass a Democratic-controlled Senate or be signed into law by President Biden in its current state. But don't expect the issue of work requirements and trimming Medicaid benefits to go away anytime soon. The number of Americans enrolled in Medicaid has ballooned in recent years, growing by more than 20 million since the year 2020. However, Republicans want to scale back safety net programs to pre-crisis levels. And Republicans in some states are already trying to implement work requirements of their own. Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders asked the federal government to okay a proposal that would move anyone who doesn't comply with work requirements off Medicaid's private insurance to traditional fee for service Medicaid. Well, my magnificent and marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Monday morning. Thank you, dear friends, for being part of this community and for being here every single day. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing more winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.